HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Loring Arena in Framingham for Hopkins and Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera, and today it's the 9-0-0 visiting Hopkins and Hillers taking on the home 8-2-0 Holliston Panthers. It should be a great TBL Large matchup here today. Of course, Holliston towards the top of the standings. The Hillers at the very top of the standings. And Eric, it's quite amazing when you think of Holliston last year, they finished the season with one win, 16 losses, and three ties. To see them right now at 8-2 and 0, oh, what a turnaround Holliston has had. Yeah, good start for them to the season, and they're always tough every time Hopkinton plays them. Uh, the thing for the Hill is what impressed me so far, Tom, is their run is they're not just uh, beating teams, they're dominating them. Well, I think they got a plus 42 goal differential, which is uh, really up there and unheard of, which is great. Uh, for the Hillers tonight, the one thing to look forward to is uh, the big ice sur surface is going to really suit their game here. It's a little bit bigger than uh, their home rink, so we will see if that uh, gives them a little bit of, uh, better advantage. We shall see, of course. We know the Hillers have a whole lot of speed, so... One would think that it could pay off today, but the Holliston Panthers, they've been putting up tough fights all season long, and they're looking to respond from a loss on Monday against Norwood. The Hopkinton Hillers undefeated on this season. Right now, we'll send it down to ringside for the opening announcements and the national anthem.
And there you have it, the opening lineups and the national anthem. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. The Hillers 9-0-0, the Holliston Panthers 8-2-0. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty, happy to be with you this evening at Loring Arena in Framingham for what should be a great matchup here tonight. Let's go over the starting lineups just in case you missed them. For the Hopkinton Hillers on defense, you got Drew Saporoshitz and Andrew Gilbert. Your left wing is Kyle Rogers, right wing Tommy Hamlet, center Sean Walsh, in net Gray Bailey. For the Hullison Panthers, your left defenseman Tommy Lab, right defenseman Ryan Dutcher, center Sam Farrell. Hunter McKelney is your left winger, your right wing is Christian Schneelock, and in net is the junior, Nico Quattramoni. And we are just about ready for face-off to get this game underway as Holliston will control off the opening face-off. Gilbert now with possession, sends it over to Saparosh, it's along the right side, and we are underway in this crucial TVL large matchup on HCAM. Along the corner, it is Kevin Balowitz for Holliston. Now getting in there, Sam Fair along with Tommy Lab. Sam Farrell, a familiar name to you Ashton Legion baseball fans, was a key contributor on post 77 this year. And so was the man with the puck, Kevin Balowitz, who sends it forward. Actually, that was Tommy Lab, excuse me. Out of play it goes, and we'll have a faceoff. So the Holliston Panthers last year were young, inexperienced. They went 116 and 3, and this year off to a Tremendous start at 8-2 and 0. And putting up a tough fight against all opponents they play. And the Hillers, they're dominating pretty much all opponents they play. As you mentioned, Eric, a 42 goal differential, which is unbelievable. It's pretty impressive. And we'll see they're facing a pretty hot goaltender from what the scouting report is. So we'll see if they can sneak some by him tonight. Along the near side, Gilbert trying to get there. Gilbert sends it off the... Wall towards Rogers. Here comes Walsh, and it's taken by Nick Larsh in the Hillers' territory. Both teams kind of feeling each other out here at the start of this one. A good student section has shown up for both sides. As Hamlet gets in there, Saparosha sends it up towards Walsh. Walsh trying to sneak away with it, sends it back. There's a shot turned away. That was off the stick of Pavit Mera. And Mera's been red hot lately. Holliston trying to get it out of their zone. Walsh with a misfire there. Manser is going to send it up the far side and then take a hit from Sam Farrell. Sent down along the near side boards and that'll draw an icing. A good play there by Sean Walsh, able to dig that puck out of the defender's skates and set Mera up right in front. A nice pad save by Nico. Faceoff comes with 13-14 left to go in the first period. Dan Kirkin on the faceoff for the Hillers. Up against Balowitz. And that puck sent flying along the near side. Kirk won the faceoff twice. He won the hockey faceoff and then the jump faceoff. <laughs> Out in back of the net now. And Will Quinlan is tied up with a couple of Panthers. Going to go on the power play. He hauled him down. Hellos will be on the power play. So an early Holliston penalty will give the Hillers the man advantage. And the Hillers have done what we saw in the last game, did a great job on the power play, just moving the puck and controlling it. And with that extra ice in the offensive zone, they should be able to uh, find somebody open. Connor Heffernan sent to the box for Holliston. Over to Walsh. Back to Mera. Mera skating up the near side, sends it back to a tripped up Tommy Hamblett. And a good clear there by Holliston. Trying to get to the puck was Schneelock. Walsh with possession. Leaves it for Mera. Look out, he has speed and Nearly taken away by Farrell. Here comes Walsh. Walsh skating up the ice. He lost it. He's tripped up. Bit of a slippery surface out there. Yeah, Hill is having some footing troubles here so far. Farrell with a shot. That's denied by Gray Bailey. 
And now here comes Rogers. Rogers works around Dutcher. Behind the net we go. Rogers and Dutcher battling it out. Sends it over towards Mira in the corner. Back to Walsh now. Walsh skates it back to the neutral zone, sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert taking it up. There's a shot wide to the left. Rogers along the corner nearly took a big hit but was able to avoid it. Hamlet trying to dig it out from the corner and will. Rogers sends it back. Now Walsh at the blue line. There's a shot by Gilbert. All kinds of power on that one, but it was just wide. It's unfortunate. Holliston defenseman lost his stick there. The Tillers had a chance to have a two-man advantage there. 25 seconds left on the power play. Walsh, and it's turned away by Farrell. Gilbert catches up with it. Gilbert leaves it for Mera. We'll put it off the boards. Well, that's sent up by Jarrett. There's a shot turned away. Gilbert getting the shot off there. Weinstock gets in with a hit. Back to full strength. So Allison has killed off the power play as Jarrett will put that back into Holliston territory, but out of play it goes. Well, the Panthers did a good job killing that uh, first power play for the Hillers there. Looks like the Hillers had a, a couple issues with the ice uh, between the puck jumping over the stick and a couple slips and falls. So hopefully we'll get those all done and out of the way. You just got to get used to the surface, that's all. <laughs> this was always my favorite <laughs> surface to play on. It was always a great fast surface. And another game just took place before this one. Framingham defeating Natick. And there's a pass over to the far side. Sent over, Weinstock trying to chase it down. There's a shot by Manser and a glove save by Quattromoni. Use the screen well there, it just, he goes able to see that the last minute. It was always tough for me, to, he's a left-handed goaltender, which you don't see too many of, and sometimes that throws you off as a shooter. You think you're going for the uh, opposite side. Joe Carraza set to take the face off for the Hillers. Up against Balowitz. 10.23 left to go in the first period. Scoreless so far between Hopkinton and Holliston. Panthers try to work it into Hiller's territory. And we'll have an offsides here. Make that a icing. Right, yep. Just under the stick. Face off in Holliston territory. Joe Carraz up against Kevin Balowitz. Kevin Balowitz, another member of the post-77 baseball team that went all the way to the state championship this past season. Along the corner, Aiden Walsh trying to dig it out. Sits out in front. Backhander there by Sheamus. Sheamus trying to dig it out along the near side. Picked up behind the net by Payne. He'll send it around. And a big hit along the far side as Aiden Walsh beats up with Hunter McKelney and we have a whistle. Yeah, it's going to be hit from high. It's kind of a dangerous play there, facing the boards. It looks like Holliston will be on the power play. Aiden Walsh being sent to the penalty box. For boarding. Boarding is the call, and Holliston will have the man advantage. That's a five-minute major. So the Hillers are going to have some work to do to kill off this power play. Sam Farrell up against Walsh. Over to Holliston territory it goes. Quattromoni sets it up for Lab. Lab taking it up. Send it up the near side. And there'll be an ice. An icing call there. That's not what you want on the power <laughs> play if you're Holliston. Well, we'll see if the Hill is here with their speed. If they get a chance, might be able to break one of their 
Donna Walsh in to take the face off. Kyle Rogers, Drew Saparoshitz, and Andrew Gilbert also in the game. Rogers gets into the face off and it's sent out of play. There's a stick of Rogers and Saponaro combined. We'll do it again. 9.24 left to go in the first period. Hiller's trying to kill off a five minute major. Here comes Holliston, Balowitz with possession. Sends it forward, over to the corner, off the stick of Gary. Back to the blue line, a mishandle there by Heffernan. And trying to break away with it is Walsh, looking for a shot backhander, oh. and it's in! How about that? Holliston might have been on the power play, but Sean Walsh doesn't care. A backhander makes it one nothing Hillers. And he, he was able to utilize his speed, and he caught the, uh, I didn't see who the defenseman was, but he caught him kind of sleeping, and didn't think he was going to catch him that fast. And Walsh able to get the puck, spin around with a great move right between the legs of the goaltender. The goal comes with 9.02 left to go in the first period. 4.15 left on the power play, and the Hillers need to get some men off the ice. Well, if you give Sean Walsh the puck in any situation, he can make things happen. As he's shown throughout his Hillers hockey career. Trying to dig it out of the far side, Dan Kirk. Pass over to the corner to Farrell. Here comes Holliston on the charge. Kirk gets in there, and Rogers will smack it up, or Quinlan will smack it up the ice into the corner. Hill is doing a great job right now, not even letting. Holliston get it past the red line here. Tying him up in the neutral zone. Kirk racing in, sends it back. Quinlan's gonna try to get there. He'll back off, Kirk steps in. Over to the neutral zone, sent up by Sheamus. Quinlan was tripped up along the near side. A Little bit of a surface issue to start for the Hillers, but they're up one to nothing. That is sent up by Mansur and around. 3.11 left to go on the five minute major. Holliston on the power play. And Holliston's trying to make that too long a pass there. They need to shorten up their passes. They're just giving it away to the Hiller defense. How about that long shot there by Sheamus? Of course, Quattrimoni to save it. Sent up by Terry. Up behind the net it goes, picked up by Lab. Working his way up, a misfire there by Manser. Along the near side, that's Sheamus. Back and forth in the neutral zone. Now it's sent down by Holliston as Williams got a stick on it. Picked up by Sheamus. And a misfire there by Dutcher. Dutcher and Terry doing battle for the puck. Sent over along the far side now. Now it's back to Dutcher. Takes a hit from Terry. And a secondary hit from Manser, looking for a shot here. In front of the net, and it's... Gonna be another penalty on the hill. It's gonna be down two men now. Oh boy. Manser got the stick in there. and yeah, looking him for a hook. Well, so far, Tom, what's really impressed me, even with a five minute advantage, I don't think Hollison has a shot on, on goal yet. Hill is doing a great job keeping the play in front of them and breaking up the Hollison passes. Dylan Manser sent to the box. So it'll be a two-man advantage for Hollison for the next two minutes and five seconds. And then they'll have a one-man one advantage for a couple minutes after that. Key here is a face-off. Walsh is pretty good. Sent up the near side. Actually, excuse me, after that two minutes or so, both men will come back for the Hillers. Here comes Gary. And he tried to send it over to Sapinaros. Sent around by Balowitz. Up behind the net now. Farrell trying to dig it out. And now Jarrett gets the stick on it. Walsh trying to break free. Here comes Rogers. Skating up the ice along the far side. Sends it out and he was looking for Walsh but it was turned away. Connor Heffernan able to get a stick in there, and we'll have a whistle. Paul penalty on Holliston. It's going to be either a hit from behind or it looks like a rough. That is the last thing you want if you're the Panthers, <laughs> having the two-man advantage. 
Yeah, I think they're just getting a little frustrated because they're even when they're on the power play, they're still having trouble moving the puck out of their end against the speed of the Hillers here. Their forecheck. And then Gary sent to the box. And actually, it looks like Hollison has two men in there. So we are going to be four on four. They don't have the other penalty listed on the scoreboard. Yeah, it must have been misconduct for them to not be a three on three situation here. Walsh has it back. Jarrett with a shot, and it's turned away. Sent up along the far side by Barnes. Barnes trying to get a handle on it. Jarrett along the near side. Walsh picks it up in the corner. He's tripped up. And he's quick to get back to his skates. Here he goes, around the net. Leaves it behind for Rogers. And another penalty on Holliston. Oh, boy. Stuck the leg out there. What a start to this game. All <laughs> kinds of penalties on both sides. Especially Hollison. This is going to be their third. And now the Hillers are going to have a man advantage. It'll be four on... Three. Should be four on three, yeah. Well, the Hillers just want to be patient and take the time. they got plenty of ice to move that puck around. They're getting uh, some practice in every situation here, Eric. <laughs> Having Mira up against Tommy Lapp. And I still don't think Hollison has a shot on goal. They had one early on in the <laughs> game, but that was about it. Here comes Mira. Since the power play, no go for Hollison. It's sent up in the air. Mira picks it up on the other side, sends it back to the blue line. Gilbert, and it's going to be wrapped up by Quattromoni. The Hiller is putting the pressure on. Hiller's trying to get Walsh out there on the point, and the referee not letting him change. Hamlet flips it up and out of play. And this faceoff will come with 5.16 left to go. Only 29 seconds left on the Hillers penalty. And then they will have a five on three advantage for the next 30 seconds after that. Andrew Gilbert tracks it down. Here comes Gilbert, racing up the near side. Around the net he goes, leaves it behind for Sheamus. Sheamus trying to dig it out, tied up with Payne. Now racing in there is Mara. Sheamus and Payne going at it. Mara gets in there and sneaks away with it. Good play there by Mara. Sends it over to the other side, Gilbert. Over to Mara. Is he gonna take a shot? Yes, he is, and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. Surprise, Hollison being real aggressive on that kill being down. Hillers just need to be a little bit more patient and find that open guy. Hillers have a five on three advantage for the next 22 seconds. And then they'll have a five on four advantage for 32 seconds after that. Along the near side, Hamlet sends it over, Walsh. Passes back and forth with Gilbert. Here's a one-timer by Mara, and it's in! Nice tip by Hamlet in front. Mara got the initial shot on it, and then Hamlet with the tip, and it's 2-0 Hillers. And they did that before that first penalty expired, so they'll still have to be on the power play. It's a 2-0 lead for the Hillers with 4.22 left to play in the first period. Well, throughout this season, the Hillers have put up a lot of goals, obviously, but they've had pretty slow starts in a lot of the first periods, but not tonight so far. Good special teams, one shorthanded and one power play. Mara sends it over to Gilbert. Back to Mara. Around the boards he goes. Hamlet picks it up along the far side. Back to Rogers. Mara. 
Sends it over to Rodgers. Around the net he goes. He'll send it back to Hamlet. To Walsh. One-timer. And it's turned away. Gilbert with a nice one-timer there. And Alston finally has a breakaway. Here's Sam Farrell. Farrell has some speed coming up the ice. And Mara gets a stick in there. Nice yeah. back check. Walsh comes away with it. Walsh on a break. And we're going to get an offsides here, I believe. Yep, just Hallison defender just got a stick on that and they'll push it back over the line. Amira with a nice back check down low. It'll break up that surge by the Panthers. Great start for the Hillers so far in this game, up two to nothing with 3.31 left to go in the first period. Dan Kirk on the face off, up against Trevor Fanara. Fanara got kicked out of the face off. Joe Williams is in there. Hanser sends it up. Over to the corner he goes. Julia Payne trying to pick it up. Now behind the net, Kirk. Sends it out in front. Walsh nearly got a shot on it. Or make that Quinlan. Kirk, good work down low. He's always great along the boards, able to take that puck away. Sent up by Terry. I'm not used to having a net in front of us anymore, Eric. Yeah, this is new here. When they did the uh, renovations, it used to be wide open. It was one of the best rinks to broadcast from. Inadvertent whistle there by the refs. <laughs> I think so. Faceoff will come with 2.51 left. All the penalties have been cleared. We are now at even strength. I think the referee was anticipating icing, but shot on net. Could have been anticipating a penalty the way this game's <laughs> going. Joe Carraza in on the faceoff for the Hillers. Racing to the puck was Aiden Walsh. Now on the far side, that is Weinstock takes a hit into the boards. Here he comes, trying to work his way up. Heffernan with possession. The Holliston captain sends it forward. Good pass over to Gary. Trying to race down, Manser gets in his way. Now along the far side and getting a stick on its line stock. Now Manser racing to the puck. A stick goes flying and we're going to have a whistle. There'll be interference on the Hillers. Knock the stick out of his hands. Well, just when you thought for a while, we won't have a penalty. Yeah, they had a three on two going too. Really didn't need to do it. But so far, I mean, the Hill has just been dominating in face-offs, winning the puck possession, and just keeping Holliston at bay. They've had no quality shots whatsoever through this uh, better part of the period. Walsh up against Farrell. Holliston with the man advantage. There's a shot, and it's knocked up in the air and then brought down. Getting a hand on it was Barnes. And right on cue, Holliston wins the faceoff and gets a shot on. Right. I believe that's only their second shot of the period. Over to the near side. Farrell with possession. Walsh skates over. And it's sent out of play. A nice blocker save by Bailey, too. That was a good shot on net. Bailey able to get the glove on it. 128 left on the Hollison power play. 142 left to go in the first period. Farrell up against Walsh. Walsh kicked out of the face off. Rogers gets in there. We get another whistle here. A cross check. I didn't see that one. I didn't see it. It must have been on the face off right afterwards. It's going to be against Holliston. Sam Farrell sent to the box. That must be frustrating. You finally get a power play, and now you send it back to even strength. Well, it's been a physical game so far between these crosstown rivals. 
There's always a little extra sensitive uh, when you're playing either Ashland or Hollis in the, from the Demon organization. Certainly is. And a lot of these athletes very familiar with each other. Coming up the near side, a nice move by Sapinaro, but Walsh is there to cut him off. Sends it in back, Barnes picks it up. Up the near side now. Barnes to Walsh, Walsh trying to break away, here he goes. A nice move there, but he lost the puck. Picks it up in the corner. There's Rogers. One timer by Barnes, turned away by Quattromoni. Barnes racing up again. Over to Walsh. Barnes trying to dig it out. He'll take a hit. And the puck taken by Tommy Lab. Lab meets up with a hiller along the far side. That was Rogers getting in there. Barnes getting a stick on it, then drawing a push. And now we're going to have a delayed call. Yes, we yep, are. Another Hollison penalty. We're going to get Christian Schneelock for the push. Well, it's obvious the referees are going to call it real tight, so I. At some point, the kids have got to get it that they're going to have to be careful. They're going to be in the box all night long. That was a cross-checking call. So the Hillers have a two-man advantage for the next 57 seconds. So that'll go into the first period, unless, of course, they score a goal. And then they'll have a man advantage for about a minute and three seconds after that. Hamlet. Saporoshitz. Sends it over, one-timer by Gilbert, and it's turned away. Nice save there. Up behind the net, that's Sheamus, or make that Hamlet, I believe. Jersey's a little tucked in in the back. Out in front, Gilbert. Gilbert gets to it, there's a shot, trying to sneak it in is Hamlet, and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. Almost a mirror play of the uh, power play. Goal Hamlet tried to redirect it through the legs. And the other factor in this game, Tom, that makes it uh, a little bit more Riley is Coach O'Connor for the Hillers is a uh, teacher in the Hollison school system. So this is a good rivalry between coach and players on there as well. I think there was any trash talking going on? <laughs> Only after class. <laughs> Aaron, the faceoff for the Hillers up against Dutcher. Now along the back of the net. Rogers trying to dig it out over to Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot out in front, loose puck, and Hamlet trying to jam it in, and that's going to end the first period. But the Hopkinton Hillers off to a very good start against a good Alliston team. And they lead it 2 to nothing heading into the second. A physical game so far, Eric, but the Hillers, what's most impressive to me besides the two goals, killing off those power plays. Yeah, they did a great job with that and, you know, utilizing their tools with their speed and being able to do the outside play. But if a Hollis, if they have any chance against the Hillers, they just have to stay out of the box. It's, they're fighting an uphill battle to begin with, and they can't do anything when they're going to be down most of the game. Two to nothing after one. The Hillers leading Holliston here at Loring Arena in Framingham. We'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to Loring Arena in Framingham. We are just about ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Hollison Panthers. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers as we enter the second period and they'll have a two-man advantage for the first 21 seconds of the second period, and then uh, a one-man advantage for a minute and two seconds after that, as Hollison currently has two in the box, and the Hillers getting things started off nicely. A Sean Walsh goal at 9.02, and then a Tommy Hamlet goal assisted by Mira at 4.22. And now you start the second period with a two-man advantage. It yeah. doesn't get any better than that, Eric. No, no, I like to see the Hillers trying to take the time. It looked like on the power plays they've been a little bit too much uh, rushing the play, trying to take the first shot there. They need to move that puck around, get a good clear opening so they get some men in front for the rebounds there. It also looked like at the uh, end of the period there, the referee talking to the captains, 
Uh, tell them to dial it back a little bit with all of those penalties we had in the first period. So we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see. We are ready to go here in period number two. Uh, Hopkins and Hiller is trying to improve to 10-0-0 on the season and clinch a playoff spot. They've won their first nine of the year. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think that would be a first because I think uh, I think they got to eight last year, if I remember correctly, before they had their first loss. So I think that would be a, another one of their school records that these teams have been setting the last couple of years. We are underway in the second period as Mara does a nice job on the faceoff. Here comes the Hillers. Walsh sends it around. Hamlet picks it up in the corner. Hiller is working left to right across your screen for the second period. Rogers sends it up to Gilbert. Now over to Mira. Mira with a shot a little bit wide there. Gonna look for that same play as Hamlet's been wide open in front. Gilbert to Rogers. Now back to Gilbert. Thought about it. Walsh. Gilbert. Mira sneaking in. And it is going to be turned away by Quattrimoni. And some pushing and shoving after the fact. Good passing there by the Hill is to set Mira up right in front. Had a good look at the net. So Allison has killed off one of the power plays. Hiller is still with a man advantage for the next 45 seconds. Fourteen twenty-two left in the second period. Hiller is leading Hollison two to nothing. Mara in on the faceoff. Wins it that time. Walsh back to Mara. Now Walsh. In the high slot, and it's turned away. Gilbert. Walsh to Mira. 29 seconds left on the power play. We get a whistle. And I have a feeling it involves Tommy Hamblett and Connor Heffernan, who are in front of the net, kind of pushing. Yeah, I think he just had his foot in the crease, so they're just going to call a face off outside for being in the crease. And face off in the neutral zone. 26 seconds left on the power play. Abbott Mara wins yet another faceoff. Mara with possession. Speeding up the far side. Sends it over to Rogers in the slot. Turned away by Quattrimoni on the shot attempt. Walsh now. Gilbert with the one-timer, turned away. Sam Farrell has possession. The Camelot might have got a stick on that, too. The deflection. The goaltender was nearly knocked off his feet by that shot. Yeah, Tommy Hamlet was really in a battle in front throughout that whole power play. So for now, we are at even strength, <laughs> although whenever we are at even strength, it does not seem to last long. Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAN. Picked up by Sheamus. Trying to work up the near side, Brandon Gary. Out in front, sent forward, picked up by Lab. Olsen trying to apply some pressure. They have had a whole lot of issues applying any type of pressure so far in this game. Sent forward by Kirk, and a mishandle by Dutcher, but he picks it back up along the far side. Lab back to Dutcher. Now Lab's going to see what he can do. Takes a big shot from Kirk. Nice check there by Kirk in the open ice. Break that up. Back to Hollison territory we go. Sheamus behind the net. Kirk trying to dig it out. There's a one-timer by Barnes and a glove saved by Quattrimoni. Quattrimoni, I misspoke earlier. I was calling Quattrimoni a lefty. He's not Gray Bailey. He's the lefty goalie. We want to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton, founded by Dr. Jill Tansy in 2003. The dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Rogers on the, that was Peraza on the faceoff. Along the corner, Weinstock trying to dig it out. Sent to the far side by Payne. 
Pass up by Schneelock, and now here comes Farrell racing up. Farrell, probably the fastest skater on Hollison, and you could expect him to be out there a whole lot during this game. Good defense there by Barnes, just riding him off the play. There's a shot by Payne, wide to the right, no one there. Here comes Jarrett. He'll put it off the far side glass. Now Aiden Walsh trying to get there. No way, see a referee thought Hollison didn't make a good attempt to stop it. Carrazzo sends it forward. Weinstock takes a hit along the near side. Now Carrazzo racing up to try to catch up with Heffernan. Picking it up along the far side, Jarrett. Jarrett trying to dig it out of the grasp of Heffernan. Alston racing up. Hamlet gives a big hit to Corbett. And he's going to go. Yep. So Hamlet heading to the box, and Holliston will have the man advantage. He had the speed, just needed to make one more stride, and he could have just got all stick on that and maybe taken it away. Got a little too much stick in yeah. there. But so far into this period, uh, Gray Bailey really hasn't seen any hard shots at all. Shot on the face off against Saponaro. Here comes the Hillers. Walsh racing up. There's a long shot wide to the left. Rogers picks it up. Over to Walsh in the slot. And he was trying to get the shot off. There was defenders all over the place, and Rogers puts it in. Kyle Rogers saw the open opportunity and flipped it right up into the net. Great pass by Walsh behind the back. He was able to keep that puck in. He knew Rogers was out front and just laid it right out to him. Rogers had nothing but net to shoot at. That goal comes with 10.56 left to go in the second period. The second shorthanded goal of the night. Off the face off. Gilbert sends it up. Picked up by Lab. Gilbert to Walsh, to Rogers rather. He got tied up. Here comes Farrell. Back to the blue line to Dutcher. That shot denied. Rogers got in the way. Rogers trying to steal it away from Dutcher now, who sends it up to Farrell. Farrell over to the left circle to Saponaro. He meets up with Saporoshitz. Out in front, Gilbert sends it around. Smooth move there by Gilbert. Yeah, nice play. It. Utilizing the boards to get it out and pass to himself. And Halston still is on the power play. But the Hillers, once again, a man short. They scored a goal. Second time we've seen that today. Yeah, as we thought, this open ice gives the Hillers a little extra advantage with the speed that they have up front. Maybe they should just put four out there. <laughs> Picked up by Dutcher. Sent over by Mansur to the neutral zone. Kirk meets up with Lab. Alston certainly finding Hiller's territory a bit more as we'll have a face off. The, the difference that we're seeing, Tom, is just the Panthers really don't have that guy that can take the puck with speed and gain entry into the zone where the Hillers have several guys that have been able to get the puck in low and then start to play inside the opponents in the end. Kirk up against Fanara. Gilbert picks it up. Flips it forward. Picking it up behind the net, Dutcher. He'll send it up. And Mansur responds. That'll do it on the power play. So the man advantage for Hollison has expired and will have a face off in Hiller's territory after the icing call. 9.14 left to go in the second period. A 3-0 lead for the Hillers. All Hopkinton so far. Dan Kirk up against Saponaro. Manser. Mara trying to get in there. Here comes Pavit Mara. 
Racing up, there's a shot and it's turned away. Good, Kurt. good stick there by Payton, getting the lane. There are to Sheamus. Quinlan picks it up in the corner, sends it back to Mara. Here comes Holliston. Nick Lars trying to get to it. He'll meet up with Manser. Kirk racing in. Back to the blue line. There's a shot out in front of the Hiller's net and a shot. And it is going to be wide by Sapanaro. Holliston still in control as Payne tries to put it back towards the slot. Hiller's defending their territory well so far. Sheamus sends it up. And Mara will skip it along the near side boards. Picked up by Heffernan, who sends it forward. Wallison certainly getting a bit more of an attack going than they had in the first period. Barnes with possession. Sends it to Weinstock. Weinstock racing up the near side. Leaves it behind. There's a shot by Carraza. Turned away, and we get a whistle. Now the Hillers doing a good job even when they, the Panthers were able to keep the puck in their zone. The Hillers doing a good job keeping them to the outside, not giving them anything down the middle. An offside's call. Raza against Farrell. Sent up by Barnes into the far side corner. Dutcher picks it up. Nice pass by Barnes to Carraza. And we'll get another icing call here. It didn't quite gain the red line before we threw that in. Faceoff comes with 7.22 left to go in the second period. Miller is leading three to nothing over Holliston. Sent along the far side by Barnes. Out in front now, backhander wide to the left. Now jammed up along the near side. A whole slew of players from both sides trying to get in there. Weinstock sends it up, here comes Barnes. They'll make that Carrazza who takes a big hit into the boards. Barnes sends it over, and that'll force the glove of Quattrimoni to come out. Good pinch there by Barnes. We're able to keep that puck down low. This faceoff will come with 6.52 left to go in the second period. Walsh sends it back. Hamlet with a shot out in front. Rogers was trying to dig it out. Hamlet with a big push along the near side corner. Trying to get to the puck. And Holliston wins that time as Sapanaro gets away. Sent up over to Nick Larsh. Holliston having a hard time clearing their zone. Into Hiller's territory. Zaporoshitz picks it up. Over to Walsh. First line back in there for the Hillers. Here comes Walsh. Racing up, leaves it behind. Rogers. He's trying to send it around to Walsh. It was cut off. This time we'll get it around to the near side corner. Walsh provides a big check. Zaporoshitz with a shot there, and Quattromoni has to turn that one away. Hamblin. Hamblin runs into all kinds of traffic and then tries to plow through it. A backhander by Walsh nearly in. It was turned away. Then Gilbert with a hard shot. Quinlan along the corner. Walsh sends it up. Quattromoni with a great save there sliding across the crease. Here's Sheamus. There's a shot and it is turned away by Quattromoni. Off the crossbar, Tom. That was a hard <laughs> shot there by Sheamus. He just needed to get it a tad lower. Yeah, he had a great look at the net and had some really good steam on that one. Dan Kirk on the face off. 
Duncan comes away with it for Halls. Another quick shot there by Quinlan out in front. Quinlan trying to jam it in and it's wrapped up. All kinds of pushing and shoving after the fact. The Hill is really starting to pick up the, uh, looks like they're gonna go on the power play again yeah. here. But, but they're uh, really starting to pick up the play down and low. You know, they've been dominating time possession there, but they really haven't had a lot of shots on net for all of the goals that they've got here. But now they're really starting to put the pressure on Panthers. Christian Schneelock heading to the box for the Panthers. Hillers will be on the power play. Pavin Mara set to take the face off. The official just telling the scoreboard operator about the penalty. 519 left to go in this second period. The Hillers will next be in action. Next Wednesday night, they get some time off before they host Ashland. And then on Saturday, the 25th, they'll host Medfield. Then on the 29th, they have Dedham coming into town. Dedham's off to a great start this season. They're towards the top of the TVL. That'll be a good showdown on January 29th. And I'm wondering if the, uh, they got a misconduct on that too. They just put another player in the box to serve the penalty. So it looks like he might be in there for a little bit longer for I mean, talking back to the referee maybe. Yep, it appears so. Hillers with the man advantage for the next two minutes. Gilbert, Rogers, back to Gilbert at the blue line. There's a shot, lifts it, and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. And the Hillers going with a high umbrella here for their power play. I like to see him move the puck around a little bit more, see if they can work that puck down a little bit low. Although they've been having success with the tip, so I think that's what they're trying to set up is the tip in front. They're on the faceoff over to the near side corner. Gilbert squirts it back to Rogers. Back to Gilbert. There's a shot from the high slot, turned away, over to the far side corner. Mara picks it up, sends it back to Hamlet. Over to Walsh now, look out. There's a shot turned away by Quattromoni. Boy, has he been busy in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, the Hill is really picking up the offense now. Mara sends it back, Gilbert, Walsh, back to Mara. Look at a sneak it in, turned away. Good passing there, just got the puck tied up in the skates a little bit. Non-stop pressure by the Hillers as Rogers tries to get to the puck after Mara was brushed off of it. Hamlet trying to sneak it in and Quattromoni wraps it up for the moment. Hamlet hung on to it and was able to fling it out to Gilbert. 50 seconds left on the power play. Mara with a shot, and Quattromoni wraps it up. Yeah, the Hillers are really trying to draw those two forwards out and leave Hamlet in front, and he was wide open. They're trying to just feed that puck into him, see if he can get a nice tip on it again. Seemed to have some success with that play. I have to say, some tremendous goaltending by Nico Quattromoni in the last couple and minutes. And that's a scouting report on him. He's been good most of the year, and if he's on, he's on, and he's uh, certainly holding his team in there right now. Dan Kirk up against Sapinaro. Kirk jams up Sapinaro as Quinlan tries to get to the puck. Here comes Lab. He'll send it over. 32 seconds left on the power play. Jarrett digs it out. Good pinch there by Jarrett to keep that in. Good steal by Kirk. Sends it back to Quinlan out in front looking for a Weinstock. Just could not get the shot off. Kirk to Quinlan. Trying to send it back to the blue line. And it's lifted out of the danger zone for Holliston. Mansur catches up to it. And the power play has expired. We're now at even strength. Dan Kirk racing up. Here comes Kirk. Leaves it out in front. Weinstock trying to get there. Picked up by Mansur who sends it down. 304 and counting left to go in the second period. A 3-0 lead for the Hillers. Big hit along the far side by Jarrett. Yeah, and then an, an attempted shot wrapped up by Bailey. Gonna get him for a rough, I think. 
Cam Jarrett will take a seat. Now Allison will be on the power play. Well, this will be a big kill here because going into the uh, end of the period here, you don't want to give up a goal and give, make it down to two goals here. So see if the Hills can continue to have a good uh, kill out there. Well, you have to think the Panthers are going to empty the gas tank on this power play. Yeah, this is their opportunity now. If they want to get back in it, they really need to score a goal here. Barrel up against Walsh. Here comes Rogers. And not give up a goal. That's right. <laughs> Wheelers have scored twice being down a man. Along the near side, Williams sends it out. And shot there, wrapped up by Bailey. Here comes the Hillers. Rogers trying to get to it. Paulson on the power play. Oh, that should have been an ice. <laughs> Sheamus up the near side. Off of Heffernan, and we'll have a whistle here. Offside. Offside call, face off in the neutral zone. And then Panthers have the added benefit for uh, Quattromone. He's also a very good puck handler. He, that puck back there, he's able to uh, get that puck up to his own players and move it away from the Hillers. Sean Walsh on the faceoff up against Sam Farrell. Farrell kicked out, or maybe not. Here we go. Sent down by Barnes. Caught up with by Lab. And a steal by Walsh, racing in, shot. And a turned away by Quattrimoni. And Walsh made a great play there. He's able to steal that puck and almost got that in short side. That was quite the steal. He's just so quick. Dan Kirk on the faceoff. Sheamus sends it forward. Off of Farrell. Minute five left on the Hollison power play. Minute 56 in the period. Up the far side comes Farrell. Look out, he has speed. Racing around Barnes. And there's a shot turned away. That one's sent out. Another shot off the pad. And then oh. a secondary shot. What a save. That's a save of the night right there for Bailey. Gray Bailey slides out. And I up an arrow on the secondary shot. Thought he had a wide open net there, and he did for a while, but Bailey with a great push over in order to take that away. Just a perfect slide. Can the Hillers kill off the power play? Saparoshit sends it forward. Quinlan oh. gets in there, and <laughs> that'll put the puck out of play as he collides with a Panther. Paulson got lucky there, he dropped the pass, but he dropped it right to the Hillers. Thirty-two seconds left on the power play, minute twenty-five in the period. Here comes Hollison, Sapanaro racing up. Takes some contact from Gilbert. Good play there by Gilbert, taking the body, taking him off the play. Into Hollison territory. Ten seconds left on the power play. Holliston threatening, however. Joe Williams takes a hit from Saparoshitz. Gilbert picks it up. Gilbert just having a solid game tonight, especially on the uh, kills. Doing a great job getting that puck out. And they have killed off the penalty. We are at even strength. 45 seconds ahead counting left in the period. Jarrett races in there and gets tripped up. Trying to sneak away with it. Weinstock gets the stick on it. Picked forward by Manser. Over to Toko who will put it around. Ah, that'll draw the icing. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't either. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was over the red line. I'd say. And at the very least, that not much of an attempt for Hollison to get there. But the Hill is just doing a great job at their blue line. Every time Hollison tries to mount the offense, the 
Hillers are stopping them right just inside their own blue line, not letting them get anything going. Along the backboards, pass up by Manser. Here comes Terry. And we get another whistle here. Another racing. Back to the Hiller zone we go. 8.6 seconds left in the period. It's been much more of a defensive period than we saw in the first. And Hallison getting a lot better quality chances this period. Panthers hanging around. Terry up against Sapanaro. A shot wide to the right. Along the near side, and that'll do it for period number two. And after two, it's the Hillers three, Holliston nothing. A nice job defensively in that period by the Hillers facing the power play and lots of pressure and some excellent goaltending by Gray Bailey, Eric. Yeah, the Hill is just, a, you know, they're playing just solid hockey right now. They're taking away time and space for the, the Panthers, not letting them get anything started, any generated. They did get a couple good things, shots off on the power play, but uh, Gray Bailey was here to stop those. So third period, uh, don't think we expect anything less than more of the same for the Hillers. They're able to use that team speed, great passing, and we'll see how we do here. Hillers 15 minutes away from clinching a playoff spot and going 10-0-0 if they can hang on. The Hillers leading Allison three to nothing after two periods of play. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers. Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to Loring Arena in Framingham. We are just about ready for the third period of action in this big TBL large matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. And as we enter the third period, it's a 3-0 lead for the Hillers. Sean Walsh and Tommy Hamlet had goals in the first period. Kyle Rogers added on in the second, and it was certainly more of a defensive affair in that second period. Halston got a little bit more pressure on the Hillers, but some excellent goaltending from Gray Bailey and some good defensive plays. Keeps Holliston scoreless. And now we only have 15 more minutes to go, but this Holliston Panthers team, they certainly have speed and they can put some pressure on Eric. Yeah, they need to uh, try to pop one in quick here, get some momentum change going for them. And for the Hillers, uh, I mean, we talk about it all the time, they just want to play smart hockey in this period. They want to get pucks in deep, not take any chances at the blue lines, and just keep uh, that pressure on Holliston. Don't let them get back into it. So we are just about set to go. Here in this third period, Sean Walsh in on the faceoff. And we are underway in the final 15 minutes. Walsh with a shot, and it's just wide. Miller is working right to left across your screen. Over to Hamlet, trying to shove it in, and Quattromoni turns him away. He's trying to go five hole with that one, but Quattromoni was ready for it. And we'll have an icing. A good opening shift right there. The hill is setting the tone right off the bat that they're going to keep the pedal down. Face off in Holliston territory. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tansy in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Walsh set for the faceoff. Hamlet pops it off the boards, back to Walsh. Now jammed up along the near side, here comes Holliston, the speedy Sam Farrell. Takes a hit from Gilbert, racing in, shot, turn away. And he takes a big hit into the backboards. And we get a whistle. He's gonna go for a trip, I think, Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz will take a seat. And Holliston will be on the power play, crucial power play here. 
for the Panthers. Well, one thing I believe if you're the Hillers, you don't want to give Halston any momentum. No, this will be a big kill here. And so far, the Hillers have been up to the task, been playing great defensively. Walsh on the face off against Farrell. Out in front. There's a shot, a misfire. And the Hillers have it. Walsh gets in there on the misfire by Heffernan. Here he comes racing up. And it's going to be wrapped up by Quattromoni. And Walsh doing a great job there using his speed to the outside, able to make a move around the defenseman and get a shot on, and most importantly, keep the face off down in Hollison's end. Quattromoni gets there just in time. We'll get you the standings in the TVL for hockey in just a moment. Hollison trying to work their way into Hiller's territory. Minute 38 left to go on the power play. That was knocked wide to the left. Kirk gets in there. Kirk trying to steal it away from Lab. Lab holds on to it. And Halston continue to try to make those long passes, and the Hill is just breaking up. They don't even get started out of their own end. Halston trying to control. Tripped up there was Heffernan. Matrimony will set that one up. Quinlan quickly approaching. Now here comes Kirk. Over to Sapanaro. Sends it back, poking it out is Kirk. Along the near side. There's a shot off the skates of Sheamus, and then he gets back in there in front of Sapanaro to knock away the puck. I but do we have a call? Yeah, here? Mansur I think is going to go for either interference or a trip here. And he indeed will, so Halston will have a two-man advantage for the next 45 seconds. And then a man advantage for a minute 15. Let's take a look at the standings in the TVL large. The Hopkinton Hillers on the top with nine wins, no losses, no ties. Halston 8 2 and 0. Norwood 6 1 and 1. Medfield 4 2 and 2. Ashland 3 6 and 1. Westwood 3 4 and 1. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout. Well, we have a timeout. We'll get you the TVL small standings. Dedham 9 0 oh, and 1, Medway 5 3 and 1, Dover Sherborne 3 6 and 0, oh. Norton 2 5 and 1, Bellingham 1 5 and 1. And those are your TVL hockey standings. And how about Dover Sherborne Hopkinton girls co op pulling off another tie yesterday against Ursuline Academy? 2 to 2 was the final in that one. That is their Fourth straight game earning points. Yeah, they're, they're really uh, coming on strong here. They've had a great surge here in the last half of the, uh, the season. Hopefully they can keep it up and get one on the uh, the victory side. We're certainly hoping to get to one of those games, but we'll just have to wait and see if there's any opportunities. But the Hillers leading Holliston 3 to nothing. a timeout called on the ice, but not a good way to start off the third period if you're Hopkinton with two in the box. Yeah, the Hillers are uh, going to be down the two men here so Hollison trying to utilize that, try to come up with a play here, see if they get one quick and take advantage of that, but the Hillers with their speed they should be able to have a good triangle, keep the pucks to the outsides, all they got to do is barely can see the puck from the outside there. Should be in good shape. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi, happy to be with you here at Loring Arena in Framingham for Hopkins and Hillers Hockey, Joe Frackleton and on camera and we are ready for a face-off, the Hillers playing too short for gonna, the next 45 seconds. And they're going to go with two forwards in Rogers and Walsh. Rogers puts it forward. Quattromoni will set it up. Rogers quickly approaching over to Farrell. Rogers trying to get a handle on it. Up the far side, here comes Heffernan. Heffernan looking where to send it. That puck sent to the near side. Lab. Over to Farrell. Trying to stuff it in. Puck is loose and it's in. Off a leg. Off the skate of Brendan Gary. And it's a 3-1 to one game. Yeah. Unfortunate bounce there. Looks like Bailey had to the save there. And then that puck just bounced off. That goal comes with 12.30 left to go in the third period. 
So this game not quite over yet. Well, they'll still be on the power play for the Panthers. So Holliston will now have a man advantage. And they trail by two. Jarrett sends it into Holliston territory. Lab with possession. Sapanaro sends it up. Here comes Heffernan. Walsh steals it away on a quick break. Here comes Sean Walsh. Look out. There he comes. Shot. Goal! Sean Walsh! Third shorthanded goal of the night for the Hillers. Unreal. What a steal. What a drive up the ice, and what a shot by Sean Walsh. They will take that puck wide, use the longer space here, make a nice move around, and then make a nice move on the goalie. Sean Walsh with his second goal of the evening. Just when Halston thinks they have a little momentum going, Walsh shuts that idea down. Sent out a play along the near side. Well, we'll a face-off in the neutral zone. Miller's boys basketball taking on Shepherd Hill tonight. That game will also be live on our YouTube page as well as HCAM Ed. Right after you're done watching hockey, you can tune in to boys basketball. Full sports docket on for HCAM. That's right. Ryan Dutcher catches up with it. Getting in there, Quinlan. Dutcher trying to escape with it. Up the near side, Jarrett. Down the boards it goes. Lab catches up with it. Every time Sean Walsh breaks away with it, I just feel like, well, that's going to be a goal. Yeah, you know it's coming and you can't stop it. Very rare that you'll stop Sean Walsh when it's just the goaltender standing in his way. Barnes trying to track it down. Up the near side, looking for Manser, and then Manser and Kirk collide. Barnes trying to get in there. Kirk races over. Jarrett behind the net takes a shot from Saponaro. 10.44 and counting left to go in this game. A 4 1 lead for the Hillers. Quinlan trying to send it up, but it's denied by Dutcher. Back to Holliston territory we go, and we'll have an icing. Faceoff comes with 10.26 left to go. So I don't know if we made mention yet, Tom, too, uh, several games back there, Sean Walsh joining that elite 100-point club for the Hillers. Get his name up on that banner that hangs in the gym. Well, if he keeps going at this rate, he'll have 200 points by the end <laughs> of the season. Along the near side, Williams trying to dig it out. Turn away. And another icing. Halston putting a little bit of pressure on. Or to Weinstock. Now up to Aiden Walsh. Here comes Aiden, racing in. Shot, turned away. Nice save by Quattromoni. Back to Sheamus. Now Holliston with it. Up the near side, Corbett. Picked up by Sheamus. Just past the reach of Aiden Walsh there. Sheamus sends it over. 
And back to Sheamus along the corner. Pokes it off the boards. Here comes Sheamus. And he'll take a shot, and it is a glove save by Quattromoni. Good patience there by Sheamus. Just took what Hollison gave him and was able to gain that blue line and then snap one off. And that's what the Hillers want to do here. They want to just keep that puck in and get pucks to the net. And if they force a tie up there, the faceoff's going to be in Hollison's end. Walsh on the faceoff. Here comes Holliston. Not for long, Hamlet steals it away. There's a shot turned away and put out of play off of Quattromoni. Good wood on that one. Quattromoni with a nice, I don't know if he got it with the blocker or hit the top of the stick too. Good save. Reese Griffith centers the game. For Drew Saparoshitz. Walsh on the face off. Rogers with a shot and nearly put in off of Walsh. Here comes Holliston, the speedy Sam Farrell, and he's cut off. Walsh on a break, two in front of him, leaves it behind. There's a shot, and it's turned away by Quattromoni. Walsh with his secondary shot. Ends up along the far side, and... The helmets are stuck together. Oh, boy. <laughs> you don't see that every day. But what a great look there by Sean Walsh. He has that threat of the speed, so he was able to take the defenseman wide and be able to put the puck right back to the middle. A call on that helmet to helmet contact. <laughs> the Hopkins and Hillers have a whole lot of home games coming up next Wednesday against Ashland, next Saturday against Medfield, and then Wednesday the 29th, the big one against Dedham. Gilbert with a shot turned away. That was off of Sapanaro. Quinlan leaves it out. Mara skating around. Mara brings it around. Trying to put it into the slot. It's cut off. Gilbert races in. Kirk now. Up to Gilbert. Gilbert hangs on to it. 8.15 and counting left to go in the period. A 4-1 to lead for the Hillers. Turned around by Quinlan. Mara races over. This line always does a great job on the forecheck, able to keep pucks down low and inside the opponent's zone there. Gilbert. Gilbert doing battle with Gary. Kirk was trying to sneak it away from Lab. Lab now contested by Mara. Griffith sends it up. Kirk and Mara on a break. Along with Quinlan, over to Quinlan, shot, turn away! Good pass there by Mira to set that up. Mira back to Quinlan. Now along the far side, there's a shot and it's turned away. That was Saparoshitz and shot by Mira turned away. Paulson crowding the slot there, not giving Mira any openings. They know how effective he can be. Along the far side, racing in is Weinstock. He'll poke it out. Dutcher sends it back. Now getting the stick on it, Carraza. Barnes just past the reach of Aiden Walsh. He'll race towards it and give some contact to Dutcher. Barnes picks it up. Along the near side, ref had to hop out of the way. Sends it over off the stick of Weinstock. Hillers continue to do a great job at their own blue line. And Paulson, as soon as they get over that line, the Hillers just swarm and break and plays up right inside the blue line. Saparoshitz gets the hit on it. Aiden Walsh providing some contact. Sent over by Weinstock to Walsh. Out in front, wrapped up briefly by Quattromoni. Quickly unraveled it. And there's a... Shot by Manser. Sent over to the near side off of Tommy Lab. Couldn't get a grasp on it. Manser racing up. 
Sends it over, and Sheamus with a shot wrapped up. Good look there by Manser. Drew the defenseman up to him as he came in, or the forward, I should say, and then sent it back to the point. Quattromoni just getting the wrap on that one. 5.44 left to go in the third period. Hiller's up 4-1. to one. Things are looking good. There's a shot a little high there by Sheamus. Toko sends it over. Trying to dig it out is Moore. Hollison's going to go down to me in here with a hold. So they will be short a man, and it is going to be the captain, Connor Heffernan, taking a seat for the next two minutes. Hill, Hill has continued to do a great job in the faceoffs. That's, they actually use the faceoff as a weapon. They're able to have that off wing just skate into the puck when the centers win it and able to get shots off. I think they've had three or four tonight that they able to get a good shot right off the faceoff. I believe they had a couple of goals in their last game off the faceoff. Rogers. Walsh. Back to Rogers. There's a shot a little high. Good look there by Walsh. Back door. Yeah. Out in front, Rogers trying to stuff it in. Gilbert back to Rogers. Rogers beats up with Payne. Gilbert looking for a shot. Out in front. And Farrell able to get the stick on it to send it to the Hiller zone. A couple of great looks there on the power play. 120 left to go on the power play. Walsh just going to hold it, and now he'll take it up. He's waiting for Mara to catch up with him. Hamlet sends it up. Loud to the far side, Walsh trying to dig it out against Farrell, and now Rogers getting in there. And here comes Farrell. Racing up, looking for a shot, and it is turned away. Another great save by Gray Bailey. And here comes Mara. Racing in, shot, turned away by Quattromoni. Mara with possession, tripped up. Now Holliston trying to work up the ice. With the amount of goals the Hillers have scored this season, the tremendous goaltending of Gray Bailey kind of gets lost in the mix, but he has done a excellent job all season long, especially in this game. Yeah, he's been there when he needed him, solid, and defense have been great in keeping a lot of those shots outside and clearing out some rebounds. Walsh to Gilbert. Over to Weinstock. Weinstock takes a little contact. He was diverted. Here comes Halston. There's a shot. That's sent up off the glass, off the stick of Sapanaro. And now Kirk racing up. Kirk tripped up. Quinlan gets in there. Up the near side, Saparoshitz turns it around. Here comes Kirk. Good cover by Kirk there. Jarrett tried to pinch up and Olsen got it around him, but Kirk covered. Quinlan. Trying to dig it out of the far side corner, sends it back to Griffiths. And now Griffiths couldn't get a grasp on it. Lorsch nearly had a break. And Griffiths is going to go for interference. So, so the puck went through his legs, just kept put a body on him, trying to keep him from getting around him. Well, I but this is actually an advantage for the Hillers here. They've got three out of their four goals tonight are on the uh, kill, so. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if Griffiths knew that Saparoshitz was behind him. I thought he, he might have thought that Larsh was in the clear. So Halston with a man advantage. There's a shot turned away. That was off the stick of Corbett. 225 left to go in the game. 145 on the power play. That oh. shot turned away. Nice tip in front too with redirection. Bailey saw that all the way. Jarrett was trying to dig that one out of the air. There's a shot, turned away. 
That Bailey. one stung Jarrett. Bailey keeping busy in these last couple of minutes. A shot a little bit high off the stick of Heffernan. 117 left on the power play. Racing over is Terry. Now here comes Aiden Walsh trying to get to it. He's cut off by Payne. Terry set it up. Walsh trying to get in there. Terry gets into the mix now. Heffernan in control. Puts the shot on, and that nearly slipped through the five hole, but a nice job by Bailey. And now that is going to be a goal. Sam Farrell with a nice look takes advantage. Yeah, unfortunate turnover there for the hell as that needed to go up the boards, but tried to go up the side there, and the Panther defenseman stepped right in front to pick that off. It's a four to two game. So it's not quite over. Minute 25 left to go. And the Hillers, as expected, will bring their top forwards back out there. Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers, and Tommy Hamblett. Along the near side. Back into Hillers territory we go. Farrell trying to get there. Berman sends it up. Rogers racing up the ice. Sends it over to Hamlet. There's a shot turned away. Out in front, Rogers trying to backhand it in, and it was just wide. And now stuck behind the net, Hamlet digs it out. Gilbert was looking for the pass. I don't know if you saw him. Walsh comes out. Along the near side corner. Yeah, good zone time for the Hillers. Let's keep it down that end for the last a minute left here. Here comes Farrell. Gilbert trying to get in there. Rogers with the possession. Up to Hamlet. Racing up. And he was cut off. Well, so far this season, Eric, it seems like Halson might be the Hillers' biggest challenge. Keeping it a relatively close game. Yeah, there's no quit in the Panthers. They're doing a good job. These two teams will see each other once more this season over at the New England Sports Center in February. 14.7 seconds left to go. You better believe the uh, Panthers will be looking for revenge. Dan Kirk up against Schneelock. Out in front. Good play by Kirk there. Good win. Good steal. And here comes Kirk driving up the far side. He's going to skate around with it, trying to burn some clock. Leaves it behind for Mara. Mara trying to stuff it in, and it's wrapped up by Quattrimoni, and that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers with a 4-2 victory over the Holliston Panthers. Eric, that was a good win out there by the Hillers, and they officially clinched the playoff spot today. Yep, good win. That's goal number one. They said to make the tournament there, and you know, gritty performance by Holliston that the Hillers, you know, showed their dominance again, especially on the penalty kill. They just they, it's tough for any of these teams that match with the Hillers' speed. And you give them a little bit extra room in this rink, and they were just able to dominate with their speed, and especially on the penalty kill. Well, some great goaltending by Gray Bailey, some great defense and some great shooting by the Hillers, and they come away with the 4-2 victory over the Holliston Panthers here at Loring Arena today. And the Hillers improved to 10 wins, no losses, no ties. They have officially clinched a playoff spot. The Holliston Panthers fall to eight wins, three losses, and no ties on this season. The final score for the final time, Hopkinton defeats Holliston 4-2. For Joe Frackleton on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Cardi, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinson Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.